At 4,800 meters down, the laws of physics are usually absolute. It is freezing, it is crushed by pressure, and it is completely silent. In the midnight zone of the Atlantic, nothing moves, and nothing generates heat. But on May 27th, 2024, a sensor readout changed that rule. We thought we knew everything about the Bismarck. We thought Robert Ballard picked it clean in 89. We thought James Cameron saw every bolt and rivet in 2002. We were wrong, because for 83 years, the most dangerous battleship in history has been been hiding a secret chamber, one that isn't just sealed, it's active. A state-of-the-art submarine drone, the Prometheus X, just returned from the abyss with data that shouldn't exist. It found a section of the hull that is warmer than the freezing water around it. It found a gelatinous residue bleeding from the steel that matches no known organic life. And most terrifying of all, when the drone pinged the hull, something inside the Bismarck pinged back. This isn't just a shipwreck anymore, it's a crime scene, and we just found the smoking gun. To understand why this discovery is shaking the naval history community to its core, you have to understand where they were looking. The Bismarck is a mountain of steel, torn apart by British shells and torpedoes. Most expeditions focus on the guns, the bridge, the blast damage. But the team behind Prometheus X didn't go down there for a history lesson. They went to test a new class of Hadal drone, built to withstand pressures that would crush a nuclear submarine like a soda can. They guided the drone toward the portside armor belt a section of the ship that is notoriously difficult to map because it's buried deep in the sediment. As the drone scanned the steel plating, the thermal sensors tripped. At this depth, the ocean is consistently just above freezing. A shipwreck, having sat there for eight decades, should be exactly the same temperature as the water. There is no engine running, no fire burning, no biological activity hot enough to register. Yet behind a 320 millimeter plate of croup cemented armor, the steel was radiating heat. It was faint, barely a fraction of a degree, but it was constant. It was localized to a single windowless compartment deep below the waterline, an area identified in the blueprints only as D Zentral the central armored nerve center. The immediate theory was chemical decomposition. Maybe the breakdown of batteries or explosives was creating an exothermic reaction, but chemists quickly shut that down. Batteries die in days, not decades. Explosives don't slow burn for 80 years underwater. The drone moved closer. The operators directed it to a seam in the armor, a place where the plating looked warped as if something had pushed it from the inside out. They extended a robotic manipulator arm to take a scrape sample of the hull. They expected rust. They expected iron manganese buildup. What they brought back to the surface was a thin, oily film. It was transparent and almost gelatinous. When the team analyzed it at the Geomar lab, the results were baffling. It wasn't biological. It wasn't algae or bacteria. It was a silicone lithium polymer. Here is where the timeline breaks. The chemical engineer who analyzed the sample described it as a decay stabilized energy gel. This is the kind of material we use today in high-end vibration damping systems for sensitive electronics or nuclear cooling. It is not something that belonged on a German battleship built in the 1930s. Why would the Bismarck need high-tech vibration damping in a sealed armored room? Standard fire control computers were mechanical. They didn't need this level of protection, unless they were protecting something else, something that couldn't afford to be shaken. The mystery deepened nine hours into the dive. Prometheus X was hovering near the anomaly, mapping the acoustic signature of the hull. The drone sends out a sonar ping, a sound wave, to map the metal. Usually you just get a flat echo back, but this time the echo had a rhythm. The hydrophones picked up a distinct pattern returning from inside the wall. Three short pulses, three long pulses, three short pulses, SOS. The control room froze. It's impossible. There is no one alive down there. There is no power, but the signal was crisp. It repeated four times with exactly 62 seconds of silence between each transmission. An onboard historian realized what they were hearing. It wasn't a ghost. It was a machine. He identified it as a last ditch distress protocol. In the confidential manuals of the Kriegsmarine, there was a referenced system designed for total catastrophic failure. If the ship's command was dead and the pressure hull was breached, a localized battery system would trigger a mechanical relay to bang out an SOS on the hull, guiding rescuers to the black box. This system was designed to be triggered by the frequency of friendly sonar. The Bismarck wasn't haunting us. It was answering us. The drone's sonar had accidentally unlocked a distress call that had been waiting in the dark since 1941. 
But if the system is mechanical, it implies the machinery inside that room hasn't corroded. It implies the room is dry, sealed, airtight after 83 years at 5,000 meters. That realization sent researchers scrambling back to the archives in Berlin and Kiel. If there is a sealed room that is still chemically active and mechanically responsive, what is inside it? They found a discrepancy that has been overlooked for decades. We've always accepted the casualty numbers, over 2,200 men lost. But when a historian named Clara Hennish cross-referenced the post-war logistics ledgers with the final sailing manifest, she found 32 names that didn't fit. These weren't sailors. They weren't gunners. They were listed as specialist contractors. They were affiliated with Siemens, Telefunken, and other heavy industrial tech firms. And even stranger, they were assigned to a unit that reported directly to the technical high command, bypassing the ship's captain. There are no letters home from these men. No death notices were sent to their families. It is as if they never existed. But a recovered personal diary from a deceased engineer auctioned quietly in 2023 contained a sketch labeled Project Nebelhorn. It showed a subcompartment nested inside the central armored citadel lined with zero wave insulation channels. The note next to the sketch said simply, only activate under command nine. The pieces started to fit together, the gel, the heat, the SOS, the 32 missing technicians. They weren't just passengers, they were guarding something. The prevailing theory is, that the Bismarck was being used as a transport for a prototype. Not a weapon to fire at the British, but a black box of naval intelligence. An encrypted magnetic core storage device designed to survive the death of the ship. The heat we are detecting isn't a fire. It's the thermal signature of a decaying chemical battery bank. Effectively, a massive 80-year-old uninterruptible power supply that is finally bleeding out its last energy. But just when the researchers thought they had a handle on the situation, the Bismarck threw one last curveball. During the final ascent, the drone picked up a voice transmission. It wasn't a live person. It was a burst of data, compressed and distorted, broadcasting on a type B naval frequency that hasn't been used since 1945. The audio specialists stripped away the static, the ocean noise, and the interference. They found a voice loop, repeating a single command in German. Nick Bienden, signal active. Do not terminate. Signal active. This discovery triggered a review of British intelligence files from the day the ship sank. For years, there was a rumor that British listening posts in Newfoundland intercepted a weird signal from the sinking battleship. A signal that didn't sound like a radio message. A declassified file released only this year confirms it. The British intercepted a code. Execute signal 9. Vessel integrity compromised, lock initiated. The British analysts at the time noted possible unknown system aboard, automatic lockdown. They marked it for investigation and then buried it. They ignored it. Why? Maybe because they knew they couldn't reach it. Or maybe because they knew exactly what it was. So here's where we stand. We have a sealed chamber deep inside the most famous wreck on earth. We have a thermal signature suggesting active chemical energy. We have a distress relay that responds to modern sonar. And we have a warning loop telling us not to terminate the signal. We have woken something up. The question is no longer what is inside the Bismarck. The question is now that we've not knocked on the door and the door has answered. Do we dare try to open it? Or was Signal 9 a warning to keep it closed forever? There is already talk of a manned expedition next year to cut through the armor. If they do, they might find the holy grail of naval history. Or they might find why those 32 men were erased from history. We'll be following the expedition as it develops. If you want to be there when they crack the seal, make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching.